guys so I am back with another video um, before we hop into the video though I just want to say thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel and hitting that play button before we hop into the video please make sure you are subscribed um, and turn those notification bell on if so you guys don't miss an upload um, also if you guys like natural hair and makeup beauty beauty videos definitely consider subscribing also if you like DIY videos like the one I'm about to do right now definitely hit the subscribe button so make sure you guys check out my earring line which is available on the site these are actually a pair that is on there now I don't have many of these left so if you guys are interested in in them definitely check it out now I will have a direct link on my website as well you can also find my ebook there as well as my uh, goat milk and honey soap and also more information about my natural hair consultations today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my mango butter using the Mary Taylor Naturals Organic Mango Butter. Um, this is the one that I make custom for me specifically um, and it's really really simple I didn't use a ton of oils and things like that I wanted to keep it pretty simple for the video but here it is I made just enough and it filled up this whole container this container is eight ounces um, so I did use this to fill up the entire container or the portions that I'm going to show you is for a eight ounce container which is what I needed or what I wanted to make for I didn't want to use the whole bar because um, I have a couple other projects that I want to use uh, that particular um, mango butter for um, so this is the one that I made um, I love the consistency consistency it's super creamy it definitely like melts into your hand it warms up to the touch um, so I actually we're not gonna let nothing go to waste around here um, it's super soft super moisture moisturizing super hydrating great for the hair great for the skin um, really quickly before we hop into the video I just want to give you guys some few um, tips or benefits of uh, mango butter mango butter is definitely an alternative to shea butter or you can use it in conjunction with shea butter I'm specifically using mango butter on its own because I know a lot of you guys aren't really into shea butter like that um, so I wanted to show you a non shea butter version um, um, I use shea butter for a lot of things, but I feel like mango butter can do those same exact things. It's super hydrating, super moisturizing, definitely helps with dark spots, stretch marks, uh, blemishes. You can use it on your skin and your hair. It has great um, anti-inflammatory properties in it as well. Definitely a non-greasy, high in vitamin A and C and antioxidants and fatty acids. Um, it's really, really great for hydrating the skin and the hair. Um, I love it as a sealant. Nor mango butter is a sealant if you didn't know, um, which is kind of why I used to use, not used to use, I still use shea butter, but it was one of the reasons that I love the shea butter as well. And I use it with a lot of my um, DIY products, projects and things like that. Mango butter is definitely a great substitute if you, prefer, if you don't really care for the smell of shea butter but they kind of do the same exact things um, I love this butter it is a hundred percent organic mango butter it's a um, hundred percent natural hexane free um, I love this pure mango butter from Mary Taylor one of the brands that I definitely like to purchase from when I'm doing my DIY product projects so I will have a link for their stuff down below as well um, they don't just sell mango butter they sell all the other butters as well they have shea butter they have uh, cocoa butter they have beeswax everything any type of containers that you need um, they sell uh, you know African black soap they have a ton of things that you can order as well as a bunch of oils as well if you're really big into DIY projects um, so definitely wanted to mention that so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time bye So this is going to be the mango butter that I'm using. It's from the Mary Taylor Naturals. And I'm taking about one third of it and I'm putting everything in my double boiler. I should have used a larger one, but I couldn't find it. Um, but this one was able to work. Then I'm going to transfer it into a glass bowl 
just so that I have more space when it's time for me to use my hand mixer. I'm going to go in with my castor oil, then some extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil. And I used about one teaspoon of each. And then I went in with about 20 drops of jojoba oil. And I only used one teaspoon since I was making a small batch and I didn't want it to be super oily. Um, and then I let it sit in the fridge for about an hour. This solidifies actually pretty quickly. Um, so it took me about an hour for it to solidify. And then I just go in with my hand mixer and start whipping it up until I get my desired consistency. And that's pretty much all that I do to make the butter. I make sure I go in and scrape the sides just so that I am making sure that everything is evenly mixed and nicely whipped together. And then I'm just going to show you guys the consistency of it um, after whipping it up and how it's just super creamy and melts into the hands. It's so nice, so moisturizing and hydrating and just apply, you know, adds nutrients to your hair. After I mix everything up, I do transfer it into a makeshift piping bag, which is just a Ziploc bag. Ziploc bag and I just cut out a corner um, just so that it's a lot neater when I'm putting it in the jar that I'm going to be using. And I'm making sure to get every last bit that I can. And originally I was going to use um, that small glass bottle jar in the middle and then I realized I think I have a little bit more than that. So I went in with this wide mouth mason jar that I love to use um, a wide mouth containers for like butters just so I'm not like stretching my fingers into like these little bottles. Um, and this amount that I made was exactly enough to fit in this 8 ounce wide mouth mason jar if you guys are wondering how much you can get from this I got eight ounces from this obviously if you added more oils and things like that it will probably need a little bit more space but for what I use this was the perfect size and I just make sure to tap it on the counter and sometimes on my hand as well just to make sure everything is packed in nice and tight and that I can fit everything in here um, very nicely and just look at the consistency it's like an icing I love it and that is it for the video guys see you guys later bye